Hi right, YouTube, we back. So I'm going to show you the intelligent diagnostics feature. It has the, uh, you know, step-by-step -step and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to go to, obviously, demonstration. Let's pick the Audi. Automatic selection. Read. Okay. So we're gonna pick the Avon to drive. Okay. Okay. Right, so do an auto scan. Intelligent Diagnostics. All right, guys. So we see here we have the technical service bulletins already on there. Look at that. That's awesome. The TTCs, DTC definition, possible cause, and relevant repair assistant information. And we have the step-by-step -step troubleshooting. Let's try that out. So let's try the fuel pump, <clears throat> fuel pressure. I remember guys, this isn't hooked up to my car or anything, this is just a demo. So, here's all your references, here's all your help, I should say. Fault analysis. Somewhere. Okay. A reference. So I'm going to show you where things are located. I think there's a lot of information here. Even a wiring diagram. So if we need to look at some wires. Got you covered. Look at that. If you want to uh, certain wires, certain modules, right there. You just like sensor one and bring it right to that spot. Right there. Alright, so from here you do the test. So I want you to do this. Mission on. Let's see, we'll, we'll continue. Drain oil pressure. There we go. If you follow the steps, you know, you obviously fixed it or you didn't fix it. 
But just like that, you just follow the steps. Let's try this one. So here. it I appreciate yes okay so faulty spark plugs there you go the last one let's perform the test shovel cut erase ground the right there mission on continue Start the engine at idle. There you go. So, yeah. That is the repair assist, which they call step-by-step -step component test. Which I don't know if certain cars have the Should we go here. Some of them have the step-by-step -step already in them. Machine guided functions. Read erase memory event. that and one more thing coding so if you want to do coding actually it's not coding not that one it's um the subsystem coding not supported and so for offline coding <clears throat> Which it does have. Let me see go back. Oh, actually, no, it wasn't there. Was there? Oh, so we have to go to the instrument cluster. Let's just try the instrument cluster. Right here, offline coding. Just in case you're wondering if it does anything like that. <clears throat> so, let's say you got a seatbelt warning on all the time. So we click seatbelt warning. Set new value. Then we would just turn it off. And there you go. Seatbelt warning would be off. Speed warning. So you got a speed warning. It's off. Just turn it on. Lots of things you can uh, do. So yeah, if you're interested in doing some offline coding, you know, change some features on there, and you can. All right, it's just a little little demo of what, what it can do. This is the Auto Maxis Elite 2. And all its goodies. All right, guys. Thanks. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what I can do better or what you want to see. Thank you.